Hiya guys, today I'm going to show you how to back up your files on a Mac. So recently I've been reviewing some of the comments on my channel and people have been saying, how do you do a backup on your Mac and is it easy to do it? Well, the answer is it is super easy to do it and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it right after this. So if you want to hear the latest on tech reviews, refurbs and top fives, don't forget to press subscribe and press that bell at the same time. So to begin with, to do a backup of your Mac, you will need one of these. One of these is called a hard drive. Notice how hard the case is? That's why it's called a hard drive. It isn't really. But anyway, you need a hard drive. Specifically, a hard drive, what is an external hard drive. This means it's in a case like this. And you will need to make sure it is a USB type external hard drive or a USB-C external hard drive or a Thunderbolt 2 or Thunderbolt 1 external hard drive, depending on what type of Mac you have got. The best recommendation I say is to get a USB one like this because backups don't have to be super speedy fast. They just literally keep a backup of your data. So I just recommend getting a USB-A, what's this type of shape here, the standard kind of USB, and you just need to get um, a hard drive inside a caddy, or you can just buy one like this. This one here is a demo one, just to show you guys. I've got a 500 gigabyte hard drive inside this. Personally, I would recommend to get a hard drive what is at least three or four times the size of the space that you have inside your Mac. So for example, this Mac here is a 256 gigabyte SSD hard drive inside. So if you do the maths, I'm going to do four times that. So you'd need a one terabyte hard drive. And I'll explain to you guys in a while why that is the case. And you will see as well. But for the time being, order yourself a hard drive. Check how much, how much space you've got on your Mac. What's the size of it? And get about four times the amount. And buy that and make sure it's an external hard drive. Right. Next of all, what you need to do is plug it into a USB port on your Mac. Or if you've got one of the fancy new MacBooks Pros or Airs or anything like that, you may need to get yourself one of those hubs and plug that in, um, what goes into USB-C, and then on the other side of it, you'll need to have a USB-A port, so this one, on the other side. But as this is a 2015 MacBook Air that I have here, I'm just going to plug it in with just this cable here like this. So it lives on the side on my one. So mind my head there a second. I'm going to plug it in. And I'm now going to zoom in to the screen to show you guys exactly what to do next. So once your hard drive is plugged in, you may get this pop up like this. And if you do, um, click on use as backup disk. If you don't get this, I will show you what you need to do. So for the purpose of the people who don't get this pop up when you plug in your hard drive, I'm going to select the side later. And what we need to do is we need to go to disk utility by going to the magnifying glass at the top corner up here. And once that's open, we want to change the view, make sure it's on show or devices. And down here, it says external, because it's our external drive, we want to select it. And what we want to do, we want to click erase and I'm going to call this one um, time machine hard drive and we want to make sure it's macOS extended journal and GUID partition map yada 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 and we want to click erase now this might take a minute or so to do that I have to remount it and all the usual stuff that it normally has to do and voila look at that I'm just going to get rid of disk utility you can see the pop-up has reappeared for you. So this now is where you've got the choice. You can either encrypt your data, and by encrypting your data, you will need your password to unlock your backup, and if you want to restore it as well, and every time you plug it out, take it out, plug it back in, you've got to make sure that you know your password. If you're forgetful like me, I leave this unticked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click use as backup disk and this is what you need to press now. And when we press this, if by magic the 
the hard drive has changed into a spiry arrow with a clock face, just like what is here, it's down here. This means that our hard drive is now ready to use. And as you can see, there's a little countdown here. And in 105, four, three, two, one, 100, and I can't be bothered to count anymore, it's gonna start doing the backup. Now, what if I don't want everything to be backed up? And that's what this will do, by the way, it'll back up everything on this hard drive. So, as you can see here, I've got some mozzies here. I've got some cats. And I don't know about you, I'm not the biggest fan of cats, really. Look, there's a, I don't know who's even put them on here, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of them. And I don't really want them to be backed up. They can just be binned. No offence to cat lovers out there. I'm sure they're lovely animals. Just for me, it's just not my taste. So, what I want to do is I'm going to options. And this little window here allows us to exclude things. So we can exclude the system files and applications if we wanted to. And if you look here, I don't know if you can see this, it says 14.68 gigabytes will be backed up. But if I click that, oh, 3.68. So that's how much junk of apps I've got on here if I didn't want to back those up. But I would recommend backing up your apps because you never know, you might not be able to get them back. So what I want to do, because I don't want these cats over here, I'm going to press this plus button here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the desktop folder where all my cats are and I'm going to click exclude and that means now as you can see that the desktop folder is now excluded. Now just quickly for you guys, the other problem I've got here is that I've got some dogs as well. Look at that. Ah oh, look it's a mummy doggy and his puppy. I don't really want them. So I want to exclude them too. So what I do is I press plus and what I do is I select documents and then I click exclude and it excludes that folder. But say I didn't want to just get exclude the whole folder, I just want to exclude a certain file. So like that mummy and puppy doggy just there, where is it? Is that it? There we go. I can just click exclude again and exclude just that one file. And then afterwards I can click save and those settings will now be put into effect. The only one thing is it will take another hundred and something seconds as you can see here to take into effect of what's actually going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this and let you guys see this countdown go super fast down to zero now and it's going to start doing a backup. And there we go guys, it is now starting to back up. And as you can see, it's going to take about three to four minutes. These are like classic Microsoft minutes, except for this isn't Microsoft, this is a Mac. I'm going to call them Mac minutes, where basically, first of all, it says like here, it's got seven minutes remaining to back up everything. And when actually you get to the end of it, you find out it actually took you about 30 minutes to back up everything um, because it can't actually figure out everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this backup run and you guys can watch this and fast forward and I will be back soon. There we go, backup complete. So I'm just gonna click close on this. Now, one of the amazing things about the backup is we can actually see what files we've actually backed up. So let's say here, okay, I wanna get rid of these cats. Now I'm gonna delete them, so I don't want them. And if we go back into my files here, I'm just gonna get rid of all these dogs. And I'm gonna delete them as well. So they all be binned and we can empty the recycle bin and they're all completely gone. Now, let's just say, thinking about it actually, I wanna go back into my finder, back into my documents, and I've just realized um, I actually want those two other dog pictures back. I know I excluded that one other dog, but I want the other two back. So what I can do is I can type here, time machine, and in my documents folder, I can now go back by pressing this button here and look at that, my two dogs are there. So I can select both of them and press the restore button down below and if by magic, pulls them back and now I have those two dog pictures back again and I can keep them forever. Now just to show you that again in the time machine, 
you've probably seen there's loads and loads of different slots back here. Well, that would be for previous backups that have been taken on this file. As you can see here, we've got the first dog. He's already still here. That's before I excluded it. He's still there. And we can even bring him back if I wanted to. And as you can see, when we go back into Time Machine one more time, we've got the different dates. We've got now, we've got yesterday, and we can grab files and bring them back and restore them at any point we want to. And that is how we do backups and how we restore our files back onto the computer. Now finally, if you've watched my other video and if you've restored your Mac back to its factory settings, or let's say you've set up your Mac brand new for the first time and you want to bring back all your files from your external hard drive, we can do this by the Migration Assistant. This saves us going into that Time Machine window, bringing back all the files one by one by one by one. And how we can do this is we go to the magnifying glass at the top and we start to type in Migration Assistant. And we select it. And what it will do, it will close down all your apps in the background. Once we click continue, and it will log us out because it needs to log us out to put all the files back onto this computer. Now this might take a minute or two depending on how fast your MacBook is and also we're to check your hard drive. And as you can see here, it's giving you the option to transfer your information from a Mac time machine or startup disk. So we want to set the first option, what's a time machine backup, click continue and it will check for sources. And as you can see there, the hard drive is there. And what we do is we click, we'd select it and click continue. But as we've just done a big time a backup and we don't need to get any more files back onto this machine, I'm not going to actually do that this time. So I'm gonna click back and I'm going to quit for now. And what you'll have to do is you'll just have to log back in again. However, if you did want to get your files back, and this is a brand new Mac you've got right here, that is how you get your files back through the migration systems. Well, there we go. You can see it's that easy to do a time machine backup. If you've liked this video, guys, please do press the like button below and also check out my other videos on this channel and don't forget to press subscribe. Until next time, guys, I will see you soon. Bye.